Welcome to our channel Agriculture and Technology. In today's video we are going to see how to choose the right combination of crops, short term, medium term and long term crops. Short term crops, any crop that has life term of about one year and less, equals one year, is considered short term crops. For e.g., paddy, leafy green vegetables, cereals, millets etc. Medium term crops, any crop that has life term of greater than one year and less than five years, one year and equals five years, is considered medium term crops. For e.g., sugar cane, banana, bamboo, papaya etc. Long term crops, any crop that has life term of greater than five years, five years, is considered long term crops. For e.g., mango, coconut, teak etc. Is it a necessity to go for only short term or medium term or long term crops? Does one exclude the other? Simply putting it, all are necessary. Short term crops provide us with cash flow capabilities and takes care of the day to day operations cost of the farm. Medium term crops provide cash flow capabilities that will allow the farmer to extend the farming operations like buying costly machinery which may be required for the farm. Long term crops provide cash flow capabilities that will allow the farmer to plan for the long term. Please note that in both the medium term and long term crops there is the waiting, gestation, period for output and hence keep this in mind while planning for further activities in the farm. By following the SML model and ensuring diversification well, the farmer's profit or loss is well balanced and they can easily carry on without much difficulty. By adopting the SML model, we can see the following benefits. Cash flow is maintained at all times. Workload is balanced. The need for labor is balanced and hence can have permanent labor and reduced need for temporary labor, in bulk. Vagaries of the market price affecting our produce are balanced. How much percentage of short term, medium term and long term crops is required? We should have a balanced approach here and ensure that all the crops have a similar percentage of land allocated to it. The idea is to have a combination of all the crops so that we have continuous work in our farm as well as to ensure the cash flow is steady. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.